<clears throat> shalom, shalom, shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere and you hopeful elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. <clears throat> All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malachia, uh, coming in uh, with a, another lesson today. Uh, this lesson is from the brother, uh, his YouTube channel is GMS Strive to be Saved. Um, I don't know why I didn't click on his, but I've seen it again. But it's um, you can get it from this brother's page on his main page, GMS Strive to be Saved. Or you can also watch or rewatch this on the Elder Mawatazak's page. His uh, YouTube handle is GMS Mawatazak Bon God 2. Okay? And um, this is the, uh, the brother that's inside his camp as well. And going into a testimony of a dream, a vision uh, of what the Lord has uh, given unto him. <coughs> and what kind of sparked the lesson was he got a warning, all right, from Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? That uh, evil could have been uh, approaching his house. All right, he got forewarned, and he knew how to act upon it. Uh, I'm just gonna play a little bit of the dream testimony, and kind of go into a couple scriptures, because the Lord's gonna be with us in a time of trouble. Okay, He's gonna be giving us many, many warnings. Okay, uh, he was going into Second Ezra 16, how the Most High is gonna be our guide. You know, uh, he's the one that uh, 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 direct our footsteps. Okay, the scripture says that well, we're going to be in league with uh, uh, with the animals. Okay, the heathen shall envy thee and shall be able to do nothing against thee. Just you know, quoting a couple scriptures. And the time of trouble, all right, it's here. Okay, it's approaching. Okay, it's escalating more and more each day all right so uh i'm gonna play this video for a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and uh get into a couple uh scriptures um, this past friday um you know after after work or whatever um i laid down and took a nap and um that's when the lord gave me a dream of this uh this jake breaking into my house breaking into my home you know, he was uh, coming, coming in through uh, my kitchen window. You know, um, in uh, real life, I don't have a kitchen window, but in the dream, I had I had a kitchen window. You know what I mean? And he was uh, breaking in. You know, and I, and I told my uh, my woman. You know, I said, "Hey, go get my gun." You know, <laughs> well, I don't even have a gun. You know, but in the dream, I did. You know, and then. Um, you know, I grabbed it or whatever, and I, and I told her, hey, this is it right here, you know. You know, I, I sent up a prayer to Yahweh Shemi Shai, you know, to protect me, you know. So I go back in the dream, you know, uh, go back to the kitchen window, and I start tussling with this dude, you know what I mean? We start tussling, and then uh, I woke up, you know, and I uh, woke up heart pounding, like, man, that, that dream seemed real as hell, you know. So I get up and I tell my woman about the dream, and um, she's like, "Damn, that's crazy," you know. So about five to ten minutes later, I get a knock on my door, you know, and it was kind of like a, you know, not a regular knock. It was kind of like a ghetto knock, so to speak, you know. what I'm saying, knock on my door, and then my woman goes to open the door, and I'm, you know, and I'm already in the spirit because I just had this dream. I said, "Wait a minute," you know. Like real loud, I, don't, I was like, don't open that. See see who it is first, you know? And she she was like, okay. And then she looked through the, the peephole and she was like, it's some black guy. I was like, I was like, hold on, let me see. You know, so I, I get up and then um, I look through the peephole. You know, it's this Jake, you know, right there, man. Looked like he up to no good, man, you know? So after he knocked on the door, he, he rung the doorbell and I'm just watching him through the peephole. You know, and then he goes, uh, you know, to my neighbor's door, you know, and he does the same thing, you know, knocking on his door, you know, 
looking around, being all suspicious type type of shit. And um, you know what I'm saying? And then uh long story short, you know, they end up getting that dude uh later on in the day, uh in my apartment building, you know, but trying to break in to uh people's homes, you know what I'm saying? They end up they end up getting this guy. You know what I'm saying? And I told my woman, I was like, you know, I had that dream uh, right before that happened because you were going to open the door. You know, and she was like, you know what, you're right. I probably would have opened the door, you know. So the Lord gave me that dream, you know what I'm saying, to, to protect me for some danger that was about to come, you know. And I was telling the brothers. You see? <coughs> that was Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, you know, giving him a warning. All right, through a dream, through a vision, you know, of what possibly could have happened if his wife would have uh, even opened the door. It would have been uh, uh, some, 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 uh, how can I say, some resistance uh, coming into that house with the, uh, with the other guy. Because it would have played out the same way that he had it. He would have been tussling, fighting, all right, trying to get this man put down or even out of his house. <clears throat> All right, but now you know later on, and he goes into the video. He says now that his wife is more on a level now because of that dream and because of that incident. What happened? You see, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he gives us warnings. Okay, what the scripture says in the book of Job. Uh, let's just get it right quick. Let's get it right quick. Let's get it right quick. Um, I think it's Job thirty-three. Let's say, yay, yeah, the most I speak of once. Let me see, let me see. <clears throat> Damn, computer going slow as shit. So lock you, give me. Bear with me. All right, let me see if I can find it. All right, so this is the book of Job. Here it is. Job 33. Oh. And that's the point. Verse 14. It reads, it says, For the most high speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. <coughs> you see? Here it is, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, he speaks to us. All right, on more than one occasion. But you have a lot of uh, uh, people, or men, women, all right, out there, they don't perceive that it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, a lot of things that you see people get into, all right, they really could have got out of, all right, because the Lord had already spoken it to them. They just didn't perceive it. In a dream, verse 15, in the dream and a vision of the night when deep sleep falled upon men and slumberings upon the bed, then he opened up the ears of men and sealed their instruction. You see, that was an instruction from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai around to that brother, giving him a warning. He said that he fell asleep from uh, uh, days of work. Okay. That says that he may withdraw man from his purpose and hide pride from men. He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from perishing by the sword. You see? <coughs> that was a forewarning, man. Okay. And many, many instances like this is getting ready to happen more. Okay. In these last days, man. All right, let me get a um, quick precept. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You see, that was a wise thing, okay, what this brother had to go through. Telling his woman, you know, to hold on, to check outside, to see who it is. Don't just, you know, this, hey, we're in some evil times right now. Somebody knock on the door. You didn't call anyone or you don't even know that you got company coming you don't just open up the door <clears throat> you look out you like to see or well, you look out to see who is at the door if that person looks suspicious or uh, anything in that nature don't open the door man let them knock on the door if it's importance all right they may leave a note on the door or whatever so going back Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15 see then that you walk circumspectly not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. You see? The days are evil, man. We're living in evil times, bad times. <coughs> it 
sooner or later you're gonna start probably seeing Edomites knocking on your door and shit. Alright? Civil wars is approaching. Jacob's trouble is here. You know? People out here fighting, uh, struggling, alright, to pay their bills, to get some food. Okay? People don't have money. But if they see you going to the grocery, you can, hey, somebody could be in the, in the bushes or across the street looking at you every time you go to the store. You bringing in groceries inside the house, it'll be a one day that somebody come knock on your door. And if you didn't check, he run through your house and what? Five, ten other people come in. This is the scenarios that we're walking into, man. So we got to be walking circumspectly, looking around, knowing what's truly going on. Ephesians 5 and verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil, man. We are in evil times. So I got the word right here for warn. <clears throat> All right. It's a verb. It says warn in advance <clears throat> or beforehand. Give an early warning. Here it is, and I have an example. Watch for falling rocks. Here it is, a, pers uh, a place where it's uh, mountainous, okay, it's hills. Rocks could actually fall, giving you a, a preeminence, giving you a warning. And here it is, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he gives us warnings, okay, through dreams, visions, all right, discernment, through brothers, all right, through the scriptures. So on and so forth. But the people of this world, they don't have it. <clears throat> here it is, the men of the Lord, we out here forewarning the people. <laughs> so let's go to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33. Because <coughs> the watchmen, we're out here to give warnings. The Lord has set up many different warnings to our people, all right, to the elect of our people, all right, and to the rest of the nation of Israel, all right, concerning what? The times ahead. Jacob's trouble. Okay? But our people, they not they not listening. So it's on it's really it's on them. This is the book of Ezekiel 33, verse 1. Again the words of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, <clears throat> and say unto them, <clears throat> it's a lot of you. Reads on and says, and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. You see, the Lord has set up men to give what? Warnings as well. <clears throat> Four warnings. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he he warns the people before he brings the destruction. Okay? Like manner with this situation. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have given the right this brother, okay, a forewarning of a thing, all right, that could have just turned upside down. It says, Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, which is the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. They're not taking heed to what's truly going on, what's, what's going on. They out here trying to figure out how to get the money, how to get the bag, all right? Chasing holes, you know, starting businesses, real estate, you know, building communities. You know, they talking dating shit on the fucking different podcasts. But here it is, these devils out here moving. You got some Edomites out there in the bushes right now when I'm doing this lesson. They out here training, okay, to take down Jake, man. We don't gave them the warning. The prophets on the scene, we're giving them the warning. <clears throat> you know? And uh, and it's another beautiful thing, too. I might mention it's a small clip uh, going into our camp Saturday. You know, that was a different whole spirit of what we've seen uh, in a long time. You had people actually coming up asking questions. They seeing us. You know what the scripture says in Isaiah, uh, I believe it's chapter 30. It says, Thine eyes shall see thy teachers. Many people, uh, uh, I think we had three or four people coming up asking questions. Sincere questions. <clears throat> Not coming in a proud spirit. Wondering what's truly going on. You know, you had the elder, Elder Ash. He was, 
the elder bro he was going into all 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 you know you basically going into the basics for, for salvation knowing what's truly going on who was in power and what the Lord is getting ready to do, all right, when he returns. And how we're going to be delivered from all these things to come. You see, the Lord is giving a warning. He gave a warning out Saturday. He gave a warning out yesterday, Sunday, Monday, so on and so forth. Way back then, you're right, from our starting from our apostles and elders. The warning's been going out. You know, the Lord, he forewarns before he brings judgment, man. You know. But it's going to be well with us. But for those, all right, who don't take heed, all right, it's not going to go well with them. As the scripture says, man. <clears throat> it says, uh, where, where am I? Verse 4. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood <clears throat> shall be upon his own head. He didn't receive the warning, you know. The Lord spoke to him, gave him instructions, you know. Hey, he didn't take heed to it. Jump to the book of 2nd Ezra 14 and 14. The point is verse 16, really, but I read up, start at verse 14. It says, let go from thee mortal thoughts, cast away the burdens of man, <clears throat> put off now the weak nature, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. You see? Bad times, evil times, you know, people are going to be on a different uh, 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 frequency, mindset, because this world, I mean, it's a lot, well, this world as well, all right, and this economy here in, in America, all right, is quickly crashing. People are going to start breaking, and hey, scriptures talk about it, people ravishing, going through people's uh, houses, all right, with the sword. That's in 2nd Ezra 16. I can get that next. But it says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. You see? This a hey, this shit finna switch up, man, real soon. So we gotta be more circumspect. Uh second Ezra sixteen. Uh Damn, is it sixteen or is it fifteen? Here's one. No, 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 this is going to. It's 15. It's 15. Let me go to 15 right quick. <clears throat> See? This is the book. <coughs> Second Ezra 16. I mean, 15. Here it is. And verse 17. Ooh, size 16. It says, For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. It's going to get to a time to where these people are not going to give a damn about who's in power. The scripture says, love of many shall wax cold. You see, sedition is getting ready to be amongst uh, the people. It says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride... The city shall be troubled. See, it's going to be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see? The Lord is giving the warning. The watchman are giving out the... uh. The times that are approaching. You see? But the Lord, <clears throat> He's going to be with us in a time of trouble, man. He's going to be with us in a time of trouble. I'm not even going to read it because the brother read it. If you can go check out the video, but the brother uh, mentioned Jeremiah chapter 30. You know? It's going to be a time like no other. And scripture says that what? Uh, uh, Jacob, okay? The elect, all right, that's going to be saved out of this trouble. So let me get a couple of precepts in the book of Psalms 91. I'll start at, let's get the first two. It says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This brother was covered. <coughs> this brother was covered. 
You see? His house was covered. Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is covering this brother. And not only this brother, all right, the elect, the rest of the elect that's scattered abroad. They're getting the four warnings from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh It's giving us the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding how to walk in the midst of these times. You know? Psalms 91 and 2. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My power in him will I trust. You see? We're going to trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see? I'm going to jump down to verse 10. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. <clears throat> no afflictions, none of that. No evils coming before us. Because we know that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is with us. He's going to be with us in a time of trouble, man. Because he's given us the forewarning. We're taking heed to the forewarning. We're doing everything that he's telling us what we need to do. Okay? All right? We're fighting for the truth. All right? Until death. Okay? Lord willing, we be the numbers all right, of the uh, elect. Okay? Because we're, 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 we're hey, like his page. GMS has strived to be saved. We're striving to be saved. Okay? And we're looking for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to extend his arm out and to show us mercy. And we know the Lord's gonna show us mercy because he's with us. And he's gonna be with us in a time of trouble, man. You know, I don't wanna keep going on with the lesson, because this lesson can really keep going on. But we got the forewarning. This brother got the forewarning. Okay. The Lord's telling us how we need to move in the midst of these times. Okay. So that what? We could be delivered, man. You know, it's not a time to be out here doing dumb shit. It's not a time for us to uh uh to 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 not be walking in the spirit, but walking in the in, in the flesh. You know, it's a time to be more serious, okay? Because things is about to switch up soon, real soon. You know, you see how he said he had the Jake just come up to his door, bamming like like it was a nigga. You know, I'm not finna answer the fucking door like that because I don't know who it is. If it's of an importance, they'll just leave a note. You see? But this is the times we're coming into. People going to start coming up to your houses, breaking in, or even acting like they all good and, and needing, uh, you know, maybe some advice, or maybe they can ask, you know, maybe for some damn salt, <laughs> some type of seasoning. And then it's, it's two or three people come in, brushing in through your door. Now, you and your house spoiled. You see? But when it comes to the hopeful elect, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's going to be with them, man. He's going to be with us in a time of trouble. All right? So, hey, <clears throat> Lord willing, this lesson, all right, was edifying to you, Akim and Akwath. I want to give our honors and infinite praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.